Hey guys, I just want to go over uh, an issue I had with Campsys's uh, new genetics GN2. These uh, this genetics series is really wonderful. I'm going to be installing these at a number of venues, but um, there's not a lot of data out there yet. They're still working on getting some videos and tutorials and information on how to use or how to set up these um, nodes. And uh, I bought one to install in a club that was having some issues with um, with their Artnet and uh, DMX out more or less from the Camsys uh, Magic QPC. And I can go into that uh, at a later date because I don't want to explain really why I'm using these yet. I have, I have a whole big thing I could talk about that later. But all I want to do is talk about an issue I had setting this up that drove me crazy for about an hour before I figured out what the the issue was. And sometimes it's just one little thing. So let's just jump into, or if you don't know what this is, I can go over it real quick. It's basically a node uh, you can connect via, it's, it's a two port node. So basically you're going to get two DMX um, outputs on it over Artnet. If you go through the network, you can also use the USB, but to be honest with you, I didn't feel like this USB port was very solid. Like it's something that can definitely pop out if the unit is not in a very secure location or a secure place. Uh, I did not like the USB at all. I'm using it over a network with PoE powering it, which I feel is the, the, the clean way to do it anyway. And just to explain the setup that I have, um, this is going to be on a MagicQ PC. Um, the network... Uh, comes out of the PC, goes into a network switch that I have, which is a PoE switch. And then that PoE switch goes into the input here and powers the unit. Now you do have to make a few settings on it. Um, on the front panel, there's a menu and it's pretty self-explanatory um, how to set the network up there if you know how to set up networks. If you don't know how to set up networks, let me know and I can make a video about how to set up the Artnet net network for this. But once you're in the Magic QPC, um, if you go to your setup and you have your IP and your subnet mask and all that set right, um, what I would recommend is downloading the, you need to download the newest version. It's a beta version as of right now. The date right now is um, it's February 29th in 2024. So um, you need to download this. And this is under beta. It's a 1.9.5.4. Uh, beta version and let me see real quick go to their software magic q software um and it, if you see here you're going to see latest stable and that's going to be uh 1.9.4.7 and this is what you really want to do is go to the beta version uh, if you click latest beta you'll notice here now it's 1.9.5 Point four. That's the version you want, and that's going to give you the most options in Magic Q software. So you want to download that, and then once you're in here, if you're in your system or your view DMX IO, you'll notice that you have to enable the the Artnet um, this Artnet out here set universe status. You want to click enabled on each one one and two. See right now it's disabled. We we'll go enabled. Um, you want to keep these enabled, right? Don't don't screw with any of these um, these other settings right now. And then you want to go to Net Manager, and under Net Manager, where you have View Cam Net right here, you'll notice. Now I have it plugged in. You'll notice this pops up, um, and this is the Genetics GN2. It shows that it's detected. Um, it's going to show you your Artnet universes. You can change a bunch of the settings here as opposed to doing it on the front panel. Even the IP address I was able to change here. Um, as opposed to dialing it on the front panel, which makes things a lot quicker. But you'll notice you'll have a few sub menus here. You'll have your devices. And if you had other devices on the network, it would show there. It's gonna show your ports, output port one, output port two. Now back to the devices real quick. If you go to config and double click that, you'll see there's a number of configurations here. You have um, SACN out, Artnet out, SACN in, Artnet in. Um, Artnet out, same universe. SCAN out, same universe, and match console outputs. So right now I have it set to Artnet out. Um, I don't know why it's coming up as custom. Maybe, I'm not really sure. 
Um, and then it shows Artnet universes, the IP address, the subnet. Um, but this is not really what I want to show you. What I, what I need to show you is, um, and then you see here, <clears throat> sorry, let's go back to CamNet. Um, what I had to do, so I had this all plugged in. I had all my IP addresses going well. Everything was great. And to be honest with you, this is, this is the weirdest part about it is last night I plugged it all in. So the Artnet real quick, I was just like, anxious to see how how it would connect it connected right away i was able to output uh, artnet and dmx over it and everything was fine i close it down whatever go to bed today i plug it in and nothing wants to work so i was banging my head on the wall because i couldn't figure out what was going on here um but then i updated the software and then when i came in here i hit upgrade device now the reason why is you can see here it says firmware version 1.01 what it what it said before I updated it was it was like version zero point whatever it was for something or whatever. So what I what you do is you hit upgrade device here, and then it's going to show you what the current soft the current uh, firmware is. You click it, and then it's slow. It's very slow, and it takes um, a few minutes, whatever, and it'll go through an update, and you'll see the status here. And once that went through the update, boom, everything connected. Now I don't have any problems anymore. So it's just something that you need to be aware of. Uh, like I said, your, your first thing is going to be to go to the website and download the latest beta version of 1.9.5.4. And then you want to go into your, your settings or setup, I'm sorry. Um, view DMX, Net Manager, go to the devices, and then click the upgrade device and that's going to get you in the ballpark to use all these different functions um and i can go into all of that as time goes on and as i screw around with this device i'm really excited about this whole genetic series like i said i see many applications that i can use it for in the uh, mid to small nightclub style um venues also in you know, I, I even can see using it in restaurants and stuff where you don't need a lot of universes, but you do need some solid control that is not through a USB port. Um, I've had a lot of problems with uh, drivers on USB ports, so I'm really wanting to use an ArtNet device over network because it's more solid. But anyway, hopefully that'll help you not bang your head on the wall when this little little bump in the road happens. And keep an eye out for, for uh, Camps is going to release some tutorials and apparently they're going to release some videos and some more data on these units anyway if you got any more questions hit me up i'll do my best to answer them um and we'll start playing with these devices and see how well they work out in the field all right good night